Yo, what's up? It's your boy, man, you know You're now watching Team Rich TV. Man got too much sauce. Man got too much sauce. Man got, man got, man got too much sauce. Man got too much sauce. You know what's up? It's your boy, man, you know I'm an artist, photographer, videographer, designer. And you name it, man. I'm pretty much a jack of all trades. That's what I like to say. <laughs> yeah. Man, you know Swag a little bit different on this one, man, you know? Hey. Shit! A lot of shots in the can, they gon' feel that drunk. Got bass in the truck, gon' beat that bump. Call me, go up, gon' get a little sir. Big ass, I'm in our back, watch that girl. Got my eyes on your bitch, gon' watch that nerd. Yeah, respect for a nigga, she say yes, sir. Nigga, I so neck, I'm feeling like bird. No cap on big, I'm spitting that word. My first love would be music. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was a little boy, I just I always fell in love with music. I was in a broken home type situation, so, you know, I, I needed, I felt like I was a little kid, kind of living a grown life in a sense, going through grown up experiences, so music always spoke to me, you know what I'm saying, I always touched the spot where I was able to feel like I had somebody that related to me and I could relate to them, so I just always felt in love with music. And everything else came into the picture for me, like fighting depression, and growing as a person, I had to find other ways to express myself, you know what I'm saying, artistically and emotionally and, you know what I'm saying, without being angry or, or bottling myself up from the world, you know what I'm saying, this was another way to scream the way that I felt in the inside, you know what I mean, to get it out was for me to go into photography, videography, expressing myself, you know what I'm saying, so like if I shoot somebody else's music video, it's, it's kind of, an extended version of me expressing myself, even though it's theirs as well. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm from Beaumont, Texas, the north side, to be exact, and it's like the culture that I grew up in, the time period, the music, you know, the people around me, I always felt like I was in the city that was small, and I had a bigger personality than where I was from. You know what I'm saying? So I always had dreams of being bigger than the city, but at the same time, I never wanted to, like, shit on the city in a sense, you know, just, just leave the city behind. Like, like I feel like I'm better than or bigger in that type of sense. It's like, now nah, I always wanted to represent for this city and bring us something because we ain't have nothing. We didn't have influences. We didn't have, we don't have a famous rapper in Beaumont that come to the hood in a Ferrari and everybody like, man, that's what you call it, pulling up and pull out Christmas gifts and turkeys and all that type of stuff and motivate us, show us that we can be something. You know what I'm saying? Other than what we is, we, we didn't have it. And so that always pushed me like, I always been like, I wanna be that. You know what I'm saying? I wanna be that, that guy that come back home and able to do things for the community and motivate the kids like myself, you know? All right, what made me decide to leave Beaumont it's crazy story, 2002, I had just had my son. I was hanging out with a lot of, you know, I can't say a lot of friends, but I had a little crew of friends I was hanging out with. And I thought we was all, you know, just tight like that. And they set me up like a movie. It was some girls involved, it was some guys involved. It was, it was, it was jealousy, you know? And from that point, it kind of tore me like with people, it, it showed me that you don't have no friends, like talking about you can't really trust the folk that's smiling in your face because they'll stab you in your back over nothing, over just being a great person. Just, you know, so when I looked at all that, I'm like, I just had my son, my homies didn't set me up. Like, I feel like my life is headed to a crash course. If I stay out here, I'm end up dead, I'm end up in prison. Just something not gonna be right, you know what I'm saying? And I know that ultimately it's something bigger that I wanna do with my life. 
you know what I mean? And I, and I want to give people something to live for, some, some hope out here. So I'm going to have to leave and bring it back. Nigga, I'll be right back. Let me get my motherfucking strong. Since your bitch ain't want to talk that fuck shit to the wrong nigga. Fuck nigga. Are y'all like that? We're some dope boy, dope boy. Ice on cold boy, cold boy. We're some dope boy, dope boy. Look at them making that dope boy. We're some dope boy, dope boy. Ice on cold boy, cold boy. We're some dope boy, dope boy. Look at them making that dope boy. I got the medicine. I trap in the letterman, dope boy veteran. Be strapping that letterman. Cause nigga be trying shit, they be that devil in. So, I sound the business in. I started what y'all see, the mask game. You know, and from there it's just been picking up artists. I don't do signings right now. You know, cause a lot of cats I deal with, we got business together. It's just some street stuff. Hey, let's. Let's make something shake. We from here, we from here, we from all over the place. We come together and we just make things happen, you know? I like to put together teams more so than do signings, because right now, I don't look at myself in that position, you know? When I get there, then I get there. But right now, it's like, hey, bro, you doing something, you doing something, you doing something. Hey, let's go on and put this shit together, you know, and see what we can do together. Because you a boss, I'm a boss, you a boss, you a boss. Let's all be bosses and get this money. Am I single or take it? I got the hoes, bro. What is you talking about? Listen, hey man, main of it ain't single, ain't taking neither. I got the hoes. That's all you need to know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can I say that, Rich? <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. You know, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I'm bullshitting. Look, me and relationships right now, we just don't go. We just don't work. Because I'm so focused on what I want to do that other things become a distraction because women want so much of your attention, your time, your focus, and I'm trying to be something, right? And when I'm in my tunnel vision of working, the person on the other end that's, that's supposed to be my backbone of support start feeling like I'm neglecting them and I'm not paying them attention, I'm ignoring them and yada, 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 and... I don't have time for it, you know, and I and I be feeling like that person should be secure. So it just made me feel like I don't want to deal with, with a relationship right now. You know what I'm saying? I just got friends. Like I say, I ain't go bullshit you. I got the hoes right now, you know? I rather have me some fun, keep everything A1. We know what's up with each other and shit. That's what it is. Still turn up time, nigga. <laughs> Top five rappers in my city. Like I said, I'm not gonna include myself. You know, I know I think I'm one of them. Let's see. I'm gonna put a number on only one of them. Number one, Bigs, right? The other four, I'll say, E-Body. I love that little nigga. Dante Famous. That's, that kid can rap, rap. And I ain't heard too many people saying his name. That kid can rap, rap. Quincy Black, he's getting better. His delivery's getting better. His, his substance has always been there. His work ethic and his body of work. And for another person, I would have to say TZ Touchdown because that's who making the wave right now. You know, he, he figured out something that we didn't figure out. You know, that got him in the spotlight. So I have to give credit where credit is due. I couldn't name people and not mention the cat that's causing a wave right now. You know what I'm saying? So I would say those artists. Yo, it's your boy, it's your rap. Main Norvy, my boy Rich. You already know we've been rocking on Team Rich TV. I enjoyed this interview, man. One time, I appreciate you.